Hello everyone, welcome to RGB Link webinar series, video processing for any scale at the default. My name is Alfred. I'm so excited that we can share the webinar with you and hope this webinar can offer you different feeling with others. Before starting the webinar, we'd like to introduce the role of engagement during the webinars, we will mute your microphone, but we really hope can have a interactive with you. So if you have any question or problem, you can write it on the message box and send it to us. In the end, we have a QA time, can answer your question and discuss it with you. Video processing for any scale at the default. In today's webinar, we will share, we will share two topic, uh, topic, topical. We will show the two, we will share two topical. First one, 4K development and application. And the second, 4K solution in our RGB link. Let's let's use this method. Let's uh, let's use five W to discovery the four K requirement. Discovery five W requirements. Know how solutions before start four K uh, to answer the question uh, to to answer uh, to to start uh, introduce the default. We have uh, five W questions. Uh, you can, we can find the requirements together, and also that we can use uh, a how use how to explain the solution or default solution. Five W means one, well, who, what, and why. Let's start the first one. What is video processing for scaled at 4K? We know 4K to have a, we know 4K have a many, uh, have two kinds of resolutions. As the first one, and the first one is, the first one is ultra high definition. It applies on broadcaster industry. And the second one is digital cinemas industry, and it always applied on commercial industry. But in here, we are talking about the real 4K, means it must support at 60 hertz, at 60 hertz at least. Uh, 4K signal also have uh, the second basic requirement. We call it HDR, it's a high dynamic range. I believe this, pay, uh, this image, many people have saw it. It's a SRG range page. The page shows, our, shows the colors that our visions can see. In two case level, you can saw they have a triangle, a yellow triangle in theirs. It's about it's about fifty percent, fifty percent in the page. That means it can only about fifty percent colors for our visions. But in HDR, HDR need to need to use BT twenty twenty. The BT twenty twenty almost full cover will cover the sRGB range. That means HDR can offer us a more higher or more richer colors. Now from the picture, we can saw the HDR, the difference between SDR and HDR. And now we enter the next question. 
where it's video processing for scale at 4K. To explain the equations, we need to know one, the 4K signal have appeared, and one, it's become popular, and what is the 4K signal's future? London Olympic have uh, adapted, uh, have adapted the first time, London Olympic the first time to adapt 4K signal for, uh, for live broadcaster. And in World Cup, World Cup Brazil, the 4K signal have become more and more popular. And we know in the in the future, uh, Tokyo like Tokyo Olympic, Tokyo Olympic have asked uh, have asked to use AK AK signals, but AK signals or AK contents or developments now. We will explain how to use our default to realize AK signals output. And this question is who is video processing for scale? <coughs> uh, there are three methods that we can get the message or get the news. Get the news uh, like the first one, broadcaster. We get the news from TV, and uh, we get the information from our mobile web, mobile web like uh, our cell phone. And the last one is internet. I believe everyone have used an internet every day. But now we will uh, we were introduced before broadcaster have applied the have applied 4K signals before, and now the second one. Mobile web, they have a hot word, it's 5G. And the internet uh, become, uh, in, for internet to use 4K signal is solely, but we believe it will use 4K signal in future. Now let's check some project that we use 5G technology to transmit 4K, uh, 4K signals. The first one is CCTV Sprint Festival Galage Start Cinemary. Cinemary. <clears throat> this project has used 5G to transmit 4K signal on an 8K display. And this project is Simon's CISM Military World Games. Also, they use 5G to transmit 4K signals. One is video processing for scale at 4K. We know now we have a 4K signals, we have a 4K signals, and also they have 4K device, processing device. And if you want to, if you want to check the 4K signal, you also need the screen, the screen for uh, you also need a screen. So according to this requirement, 4K LED or 4K display or 4K the projector in some rental project like 4K monitors have been produced for to meet this kind of requirements. The last one is why is the video processing for scale at 4K? To explain this answer, we need to check two pictures. The first picture, you can start on there. There have a three picture in SD, SD, and RT, Ultra at HD. Ultra SD is a 4K level, 4K signals in here. To compare these two, three pictures, you can saw the 4K signal can offer a real colors to our vision, red color left close to our visions. Now we check the second one. In 2K level, we call it HD. But if you check the HD's resolutions in detail, you will, you will see they have uh, pieces here in there, you can sort it. But in 4K signals, 
uh, when you check check each small part in detail, you can thought they have no pieces anymore, and the detail shows more clearly for us. Now we have answered we have answered five W questions, and we need to enter the next step. How is the video processing for scale at 4K? Check, uh, check the requirements before. In two case level, pe first uh, people ask one four k, uh, one two k signal output, and then the increase into two into picture in picture, or uh, multi pictures. In four k, it's the same. Now it have increase increased into multi output, multi image output on four k the display too. In this page, we can check our, def our default resolution. Uh, our default can com compatible with low resolutions. And low resolution, including all the VISA, all the SMTP, all the standards of resolution. We we discovery the five W. Uh, we discovery five W answer need to drive for drive visions deserve. Now we will enter introduce our D four products. D four have been applied on many applications and many industries. Like broadcaster, broadcaster or some fixed, uh, fixed project or rental project. Like the conference have used our default to output a uh, higher image image quality. In this page, you can sort default. Default can support 4K signal input and 4K signal output. In here, we are talking about 4K at 60 Hz signals. <clears throat> Let's check the interface first. Our default have used more. If in your project you just need SDI, you can choose 12G SDI or 3G SDI. But, in, but if you use your computer, and you can choose SDMI input. In the input part, default support four independent 4K and 60 Hz signal input. And both of them can be showed on the display. Not uh, uh, not four. In the picture, you can saw they have a two two independent HDMI two point output. And also, it's offer it supports one optional DP output module. The DP functions in here in D4 is for backup. Backup functions. Just now, we have introduced D4 can support. Different kinds, uh, different kinds of uh, different standards of different standards resolutions like a uh, Visa SMTP. But if you if those standard 
resolution cannot meet your display, you can choose customize. As we know, all the LED displays are customized, so people can use EDID to output to output the, uh, the same resolution for pieces to pieces. About the control default, uh, it's quite easy. You can use uh, on the output part. You can saw they have a USB and the NAND port. You can use those two port. Uh, you can use those two ports to connect with export and use export to control it. And also, the default have support uh, open API. Open API means you can connect with other uh, connect with third part device and use a third third part device to drive or control the default directly. In the front part, there have a button need to introduce small detail. Just now we have mentioned HDR basic on image need to 10 bit, but in default we can support 12 bit. Means default can output or can support more higher image qualities to show on your display or on your LED LED display. For different applications, uh, we like to introduce four kinds of different uh, four kinds of applications that the default can meet. Like the first one is to spacing for AK 2K the large display, and the second one is always happened or always applied on renter rental project or stage. The uh, the third one is. Just now we have mentioned four input, four independent 4K signals can be displayed on, on, a one, on one 4K display. And also just now we mentioned default output are independent, are independent channel. So you can use it to output different contents and control it in independent. Now let's check the first one. The first one is AK2K display thing. In this uh, in these features, you can use D4 to spacing. You can use D4 uh, spacing function. To show the contents on your on AK two K display or AK one K display, about this feature, would like in uh, would like to introduce more detail about how to realize AK AK two K on Tokyo on Tokyo Olympic in next page. This is one of our customer that ask they ask to show the multi image on AK2K through the default device, but as we know, default one default output, uh, one default output can support spacing AK2K spacing, but without but only in one page. So how can we do it? In here, we need to introduce the gene lock. Gene lock just close to the HDMI 2.0 output. You, you can use the gene lock, for example, in last project. The first, uh, D, the first default output three, pay, uh, output three picture or four pictures. And the signal is the signal will be coming will be uh, the signal will be used as one signal to loop into the next uh, 
into the next D4. The second D4 will use the spacing function to show to show them on a AK2 case. Now we'd like to use a live demo for your reference. Now let's check. Uh, let, let's change the cameras to the live demo. Hello, everyone. I'm Paul, and now I want to show you uh, how to use the AK2K mode. We call this mode bleed mode. So you can see the point, uh, the camera to show the front panel, and with the button and uh, uh, LS. Uh, LCD OLED panel, and uh, here you can see me. Here is the two outputs. Output one to the top monitor, 4K monitor, and the uh, bottom mm -hmm. is to another output. Okay. So now uh, we can go to the menu. Okay. And uh, uh, the mode, that's the system mode. And uh, you can standard mode, that's a switch mode, that's a uh, uh, presentation mode, and uh, split mode. For AK2K, we like to use the split mode to uh, make a faster split. So you just click the no and uh, choose the one machine and uh, we want to choose because this is the uh, up and down okay after that you can uh, set in uh, h total to 3804 and uh, we total is the uh, 420 and we can the uh, top one uh Horizon uh, is the uh, 2160. After that, you can set setting. You can see, uh, uh, you can see, sorry, now it's the top, is the bottom one. Sorry, we uh, uh, connect the long output. Okay. So uh, I can use the uh, switch to uh, swap these two outputs. Okay, you can see now it's the 4K by 4K screen used two outputs. Okay, and uh, like the Alma tell us, if you have more than two monitor, you have four 4K of monitor. How can we do? Yes, you can use two piece D4, two piece D4 with the input. There is a loop out to connect to another D4 input, and uh, you can use lock to make these two piece D4 sync. So you can uh, use the uh. Not the formal sheet, so you can uh, make a very big uh, screen. Okay, thank you, and uh, go ahead, Ava. Okay. Thank you for Mr. Paul's introduction about spacing function. Now we enter the next feature. Uh, this kind of modules always be applied on rental project or some stage. They just need one. Uh, they just need one picture, and just need one picture to check to check the contents.
In here, for example, now we have a summarize summarize picture in PSD, and uh, in the programs we have shown the fruit have shown the fruit picture in here. But we need to change it for the next programs. We need to change the contents. You can use the PSD and PGM module to change it. Also, you can use the front button to choose the tech for cutout, and it's a seamless switch. And this is one. This is one of the project that our people have been applied on military world games. It's, it's ask uh, people to to switch the 4K the signals and use in seamless switch. Now our um, our colleague Mr. Paul where in, where showed you in live demo. Hey, hello, I'm here. Okay, glad to see you again. So uh, now we are also to tell you another uh, uh, preview output two. Output one we connect to the top monitor, and the output two we connect to the bottom monitor. And the top monitor is the program means output to the uh, big screen. And uh, up to you can connect to a small monitor, uh, so you can uh, preview your thoughts first. Yes. Also, we can go to the and choose the switch mode. Okay, like this. And uh, uh, up and down center, you can choose the source. There is uh, this four button is the input button. The green one means you have the uh, input, and the red one means now this up this the source is the uh, go to the program go to the big uh, the big screen so we can switch to check the source now is the uh, e and uh, now is the input four after that you can just use this tech button to switch so you can see the program is filled fill out and uh, if you want that make it the uh, uh, the Source scalar, the size smaller. You can just use the scalar button and uh, change the resolution. After that, you can just use the tag button to switch. Okay, and uh, thank you. And Alpha, go ahead. Okay. Thanks for Mr. Paul's introductions. Any questions about the spacing or the PSD or PGM models? You can send the question. You can send the question or your problems to the message to the message boxes. We will will answer your questions in FAQ time. Now let's continue to introduce the default most important modules. And these modules have uh, got a higher reputation from our customers. These modules, we call it the presentations. I believe many people have saw this kind of application. For example, in a conference room, you want to what? For this application, for example, uh, in the conference room, you need to show the the themes or the 
logos on the on the background and the middles you can show the ppt or your words in here the left and the right the left and the right to show the different camera stimulus uh, camera thing signals d4 can realize the, this application just now we have introduced d4 can support four independent 4k at 60 hertz signal input and both of them can, can be showed on uh, can be showed on displayed in this presentation model and each of the layer each of the image or windows size positions you can change you can change and uh, revise you change and revise now this is the project that we have uh, uh, we have realized these features for field applications in this project we have uh, four we have a uh, two thing uh, we have uh, two cameras in 12g sdi and one in hdmi 1.0 to show a video through the computer the backup the background to use a uh, use the logo to show the logo or show the themes so one d4 can show the four 4k signals on a 4k display about the real uh, the light the live demo, our colleague Mr. Paul will show you on other camera. Yes, yes, I'm here. Hi. Okay, so we want to show. Hello, and I uh, want to show you the presentation mode. Okay, and. Uh, we can go to uh, also go to the system mode. Presentation mode. Okay. And uh, after that, you can have the four layers on the output. On the output, you can see that. Okay. Output uh, layer one, layer two layer three and uh, background okay all these layers all support 4k inputs and uh, each layer it can uh, choose the different source and uh, have a different size okay i will show you now i'll choose the is the one okay that one and uh, we can uh, scale up See and uh, start to change the position, okay, to uh, maybe 1000. Yeah, now we move and uh, we can change the size. Yes, you can see here. Okay, and uh, you also can change the edge size. Yeah, and you can uh, change the source. We can change the source to like this. Okay, and if you just want to have a background, just click the layer two times. And you will disappear. Okay, and from here we also can use the software to control default. Okay. See, we have a, a control adjusting it with the my, uh, this laptop. Okay.
and I can move. The layer right or just close the layer. Make it make a different size. Like this. So the default presentation mode, you can support four layers. And each layer, you can choose the different source, have a different size, and move to different position. Thank you. And uh, Alpha, continue. OK. Thank you for Mr. Paul's introduction. Now let's continue to introduce the next uh, application model. Independent, independent model, as we have introduced default with four HDMI 2.0 output and those two output in independent channel in independent channel. So can you see all or show the different signals on on two different screens. And those uh, all those also the also the size or the resolutions you can change one by one. Just now we have introduced four, uh, four uh, normal or four applications in here. But the last independent, we will ask our colleagues, Mr. Paul, to show you again in live mode, live demo. You, the next mode, system mode is uh, uh, independent mode. And uh, in a default, in a system mode, we call this is the U mode. Okay, you can call it uh, independent mode, it's the same. Okay, we uh, choose few modes, and you can see uh, from the top and the bottom, two different outputs, they are have a different source. And uh, here you can see they are layer one and layer, layer two uh, are working. So now we choose the layer two, layer two means the output two. And uh, you can choose this and choose the thought, choose source three, Choose source two, and uh, for this output, you can scale to different size. So I will use this button uh, from 3,840 to uh, maybe 3,000. And uh, this we can scale to maybe uh, uh, 500. Okay. And uh, we can check in the size of the chest. See, now it's the scalar, the output two. And here we can click the layer to choose the output one. And here you also can choose the different source. We can choose uh, output four, uh, input four and input one. Or you can have the same input both have the input two. After that, you can also scale to different size and clock. So we scale up. Uh, at least we can scale up to about maybe uh, uh, 3,600. And uh, with size, we can scale up maybe uh, uh, 1,000. OK. Like this. So, for least system mode, independent mode, or we call it dual mode, that you can have the different outputs, two, two independent outputs. No, uh, it's like a four in, two output matrix, but it's more than a matrix because each output you can have the 
different size and uh, different clock. Okay, and uh, Alpha. Okay. Thank you for Mr. Paul's introduction. So, uh, one D four. So one D four can be supplied on different kinds of applications. Like the picture shows, uh, no matter you are in rental project or in or in some fixed or fixed project or broadcaster, D four can support can support those uh, application too. If you will have any questions on those two, those two operation model are on the or on land, you just send us the messages on the messenger box. We have a FAQ time to answer all of your questions or problems. Now we will introduce introduce default application through one through one project. This uh, this project is Stemman CISM CISM Miniaturized World Games. In fair application, they need multi 4K and 60 Hz signal input. And they need to to do they need to prestige or prestige the content and preview. We see the content and preview the signals information before it cuts out. And as we know, in stadio, in stadio industry, the device always far away from the display. So it need use the cable or extender. But just now we have a main, we have introduced default support. Default support to HDMI 2.0 output. But as we know, HDMI cable for 4K signals only can support up to 50, uh, up to 15, 15 mini meters, 15 meters. So in this project, you need to choose fiber, uh, choose fiber or, or named cable. But according to the project, the lamps over 100 meters, so only fiber can be used in here in this project. And in this project, we support our other product MSP318. 318 can exchange HDMI signals, 4K at 6 hertz signals, into fibers into fiber signal and uh, transmit and transmit to uh, transmit for a long time in the receive in the receiving card uh, in the receiving part msp318 also can change the fiber signal into dvi or into hdmi to meet the 4k control box requirements that the signals uh, in our MSP series, it asks yeah, it asks you yeah, with a uh, uh, most important uh, most important part uh, most important point in here. The signals all in no compress, no compress, no compress means that the signal will be not will be not uh, will not be changed. Of revise to make sure to output a higher resolution, a higher image, uh, image, uh, high image quality. Now our our colleague Mr. Mr. Paul will introduce our MSP three one eight for us. Yes, hello everyone, I'm here. And uh, yes, 
on my hand, there are two piece MSP 318. Okay. And it's a real 4K uh, fiber converter. Okay. HDMI 4K to fiber. See, uh, it's the this. And we have uh, used the single mod uh, fiber or use the multi mod fiber. Single mod you can support to two kilometers or more of 10. The maximum is the 10 kilometers. Okay, and it uh, has a uh, HDMI input, and uh, you also can uh, use the uh, USB to control uh, to send a, a command. And here is the receiver. Okay, and we have a uh, MSV garage that you can put this. If you have a uh, two piece, four piece, or ten piece, you can put it on the garage and have the one power sprite to support all these MSP is very easy to use. Okay, remember that if you use this uh, HDM2 fiber or use the 4K output to connect to the monitor or input, it's very important to use the real 4K uh, cable, 4K HDMI cable. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Thank you for Mr. Paul's introduction. Just now we have introduced the features and the features for default. So now let's make a summary for you. Now we can check based on LED size. If you want, if you use 4K control box, one default can control different kinds of uh, different pitch of LED display. Like if you use pitch, uh, p uh, if you usually use pitch five millimeters, you can use default to control about 442. But if your pitch still large like uh, pitch 10 millimeters, you can use default to control 1,000, about 1,700. Uh, 1, if, you, if you are using LCD, not LED, default can output, to, can output the different contents, different signal on two LCD, two LCD displays. And if you connect, uh, use default to connect uh, to projector. In 4K, level, 4K projector, it also can control two 4K at 60 hertz projector. Now it's a Q and A time. If you have any question, you can rise, rise up your hand. Or send a message. We will open. The, we will unmark. Uh, we will un unmute your mic, and you can talk with us directly. Okay. Uh, there's one question. Uh, the name the uh, Ricardo. Uh, I'm I'm sorry, my uh, pronoun. It's possible to see a cut. Transaction instead of a uh, mark. Okay. Uh, the, see here, I'm here. I'm home. And here we go to the switch mode. Okay. Switch mode. Here uh, you can see there are two outputs. So uh, we can choose the preset to, the, to check the source the input tree. After that, we can use the menu to go to the transaction and uh, change the transition uh, time to zero. Zero seconds means cut. After that, please see the top monitor carefully. Okay, I use the tech 
You see, it's very fast. Now it's the cut uh, function. And uh, how do you end? Okay, I'll do it again. And I choose the soft for or to or for after that I use tech. Yes, it's very fast and very clear. Yeah, focus on the top monitor. Okay, and uh, do it again. Monitor the source, monitor the input, after that, switch out. And uh, monitor next source, so yeah, switch out. And uh, you can change the. I will change the transit time to one second. After that, we can use the text button. Yeah? Can you see it? See the focus the top monitor again. One second. Yes. Okay. Uh, there is a uh, one friend asks us it's not possible to support mirror image. Okay, uh, I will show you. It's not possible to support mirror. Okay. Okay, uh, can you see that? I do it again. Okay. Uh, we can go to the effect. Effect. And there are a lot of the function, lock uh, process function, and the uh, brightness, and the uh, contrast, and the uh, hue, and gamma, and uh, noise reduction, and uh, like a mirror. Okay, I uh, turn the mirror off and do it again on. See, and uh, I'll uh, mirror edge, break edge. Okay, uh, you see in the RGB link now is here. See, RGB link now is in the uh, uh, right bottom. Okay, do it again. And the uh, left bottom, okay? And uh, I will both make it on. So now it's uh, rotate 180 degree, okay? Okay. Any more questions? Okay, all of that function can do in software. Oh, of course, we 
we will show the we will show the use to export to control the well Christian bank is preceded yes the, it will be used in the front panel or front uh, menu it will show in prestige and you can use it to step different bank and step and load different banks ask a question about the preview from exposed is it possible to make the home name as a preview from a lab input uh, the default we don't have the uh, monitor to the expose, but you know we have uh, two different outputs. Uh, output one, you can use the switch mode. Output one to connect the program. Output two, you just connect the monitor. And you can preview the source from the output two. And in the switch mode, uh, you can preview the uh, one there and uh, in the presentation mode you know we have four layers one background and uh, three uh, front uh, layers you also can use output two to monitor the uh, layers and you can have the same layer out but like you can have the uh, output one only have one background output two you can have uh, one background and the three layers and uh, you can switch in the presentation mode Like here, you have uh, one background and uh, three layers. And uh, output, you can just have one layer, and output two, you can have four layers, or three layers, or two layers. Just uh, have a different preset and the uh, switch, fill it out. Okay. And uh, we will make this uh, function very fast. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? And uh, if you have time, please, please, uh, Write, write the feedback. So yes, now the, I uh, send out the link to the chat and uh, I hope you can uh, pay back your information to us. And that's very uh, important for us. And uh, please uh, take the time to click this link and uh, write down your uh, information, your suggestion or your uh, something like the uh, price or something, just uh, send to us. The presentation is done now. And we will update the record and the webinar contents on those websites. And if you are interested or named or you to you want to review the con review the contents, you can download from those links. We really hope you can spend about one minute to give us your feedback or offer us your suggestion about the webinars that we can offer a more better webinars for the future. Now we'd like to introduce the next the next webinar contains video processing for any scale at the stadiums. 
on the date after tomorrow. Hope, hope we can see them, see you again. If you want to check more details about our webinar information, you can check them on our website. Also, if you have also, if you want the RGB link academic, you can connect with your agency or connect with our sales. We will offer this certificate for you. Video processing for any scale. Thank you. Thank you for anyone. Thank you for everyone. Thank you for your time. Hope, hope we can see you next time. Bye bye.